Good morning, welcome. It's April the 19th, I think. I'm not quite sure what day of the week it is. I think it's Sunday morning. Uh, welcome to the Vicarage for a short act of worship today on what's known as Low Sunday. Uh, it's normally the Sunday after Easter where it's normally quite quiet in church. This week has been another uh, quite full one. I've got the cat joining me now. Uh, has been quite a full one. Um, we've been continuing to distribute food throughout the parish and we have also um, delivered the free school meals which we'll continue to do next week. Uh, I hope you are well watching this. I feel like Dr Evil now with a cat on my uh, knee. Uh, but we're just going to begin just by a moment of prayer. So wherever you are, let's just be still for a moment. And ask God to be with us as we have this act of worship. Come Holy Spirit, come and fall on us wherever we are today, worshipping you Lord. Lord we love you, we love to be in your presence and we just ask you to bless us, our homes and our families as we worship you this morning. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us worship together. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. i 
today is from John's Gospel. Uh, John is uh, one of the four books uh, written specifically about Jesus, the Gospels, uh, and this comes towards the end of John's Gospel. It's after Jesus uh, has died and rose again. And it's really interesting when we look at what the disciples did after Jesus died. And this is what this passage says. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, Thomas, one of the twelve disciples, was not with the disciples when Jesus came to the house. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, 
Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now I love this passage. I love this passage for a number of reasons. One, because I'm vicar of St Thomas Church and this is uh, Thomas here. And I love it when we read about the frailties of the disciples. A lot of people think, oh, you know, you've got to be super good to serve Jesus. And you only have to look at the disciples to realise that that is certainly not the case. And Thomas is an example of that. In fact, they all are individually. Now, it says here, the passage before this, Jesus appeared to his disciples who had locked themselves away in a room. They trapped themselves away scared for their future and I'm sure that some of you watching this today can relate to that feeling being locked away in your home unable to leave and the disciples were locked away because of fear and it says that Thomas wasn't there I often wonder where Thomas went I wish there was like an appendix at the back to say Thomas popped out to get some shopping or Thomas um you know, I don't know what he did. Was, did he go and do some work? Did he go and get some money? What did Thomas do? But whatever he did, he missed out. He went to, um, he was out of the room when Jesus appeared. In this passage, Jesus comes back. But before that, the disciples say to Thomas, Thomas, you've missed Jesus coming. You've missed Jesus. And he's like, oh yeah, okay. I'll believe that when I put my fingers where the nails were and in his side where the spear went in. And in the midst of the doubt and fear that would paralyse the home of the disciples, Jesus entered into that, where they were. Jesus entered into that home and told them to receive his peace. Peace be with you, he said. And then he asked asked Thomas, Jesus asked Thomas to do what he said, to put his hands in the holes at his side. And Thomas replied, my Lord and my God. So my prayer for you today, wherever you are watching this, locked in, feeling without hope, feeling frustrated, feeling angry, disappointed, missing family and friends, to receive the peace of Jesus today. Jesus can break into any locked room, the locked rooms in your heart and in your mind. Those things that you don't think Jesus can do, he can. Those worries, those concerns, those hurts, those frustrations and anger, Jesus can deal with. So we're just going to have a moment of prayer now as we bring those things to Jesus, wherever you are. Wherever you are right now, whichever room in the house, whether you're on your own or with family, let us just be still. Let us just think about the week that's gone. And just think about the places where you may have seen God at work or heard about God being at work. We think about our National Health Service and all those people who are working on the front line, the volunteers who are distributing food, the normal jobs, bin men collecting our refuse, street cleaners, the emergency services, people who are just continuing their normal job. We see God at work on the front line as people lay down their lives to heal others. Let us just be still as we pray. Lord, you know our hearts and minds today. You know our fears, you know our joys. And Lord, we bring them all to you. And we ask for your overwhelming peace right now. Come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with peace. Remove fear, remove sorrow and replace it with your peace. We pray for our church family and pray for each and every person watching this wherever you are. May the Lord bless you. 
We pray for those working in our hospitals throughout this country, particularly praying for those locally in Morriston and Sundleton, those working in social care and delivering care at home. And we do pause to remember those health workers in Swansea who've lost their lives. Lord, will you draw close to all who are mourning today? We continue to pray for our schools, for Russ and Stuart and Carl and the staff who are still offering childcare for essential workers. Will you continue to bless them? Will you bless us as a church as we continue to serve our community in any way that we can? Lord, we thank you for those volunteers that have been working with us this week and ask you to bless them and their families. Remember those who are mourning and whose funerals will be taking place in the coming week in these most difficult circumstances. Lord, will you draw close to those families today? And Lord, we also pray today for those who were due to get married. Today, Geraint and Louise were due to get married in our church and others' weddings recently have been cancelled. We pray for those couples. May their love grow in this waiting time. And just as we sit in silence, we bring our own prayers before God. Include our prayers with the prayers that Jesus taught us as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We're going to finish this short act of worship with some songs, but before that there's nothing left for me to do other than to pray for God's blessing on you. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you, and remain with you and those who you love and pray for this day and always. Amen. In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace. In my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will 
Jesus scatters fear and gloom. Let the church with gladness hymns of triumph sing. There is a reason why I don't normally film in the house. <laughs> <laughs>